So yeah, I wanted to share when I got sick, what are some of the things that I did to help my body get better? And these are not intuitive. You may, you may, uh, um, you may think they're um, you know, easy for people to, to um, reach into, but a couple of them I have been um, using over the past uh, like six, three weeks, four weeks, actually about six weeks um, of what I do when I'm fasting. I wanna share those with you. So when my voice was lost, I, um, I like to not be so strict on the ketogenic diet when I travel. Uh, my husband and I were in a place where there's sun and a beach and it was definitely not the ver my favorite time to be sick. Uh, but I did fast and the fasting definitely gave me a little better energy, helped me just not completely crash. Um, but um, the other thing that I missed while I was out there is some of the other things I do when I'm fasting. So one of them is um, that I have found a new thing that I do in my fasting. And I wanted to show uh, what this is. Um, so I've talked a lot about in the past how salt is really important, uh, which gets you back to what this, the title or the, the thumbnail for tonight is all about. I grew up on a farm where we had a calf cow operation uh, that, so we calved out uh, uh, cows each year. Uh, we you know, raised them for, for um, produce. Um, and uh, so I am very well um, uh, associated with the life of um, all things uh, nutrition for animals. Uh, the husbandry of how to have a healthy steak is real. And I will tell you, when I was in one of the conferences in Omaha, I got introduced to um, not just Redmond salt. I'd, had, I'd seen Redmond salt before, but I got introduced to something that I think is so awesome for, for fasting that I want to show you about it. So I have the link in the show notes below because I really think that if you, when you see what, what I do with this, you're going to join me. Okay, so we've all had, um, you've heard me talk about how important it is that when you fast, you need... Um, you need salt. Salt will get you through a craving. Um, Redmond has these cute little um, um, canister shakers that you can put in your pocket. And I had had a couple of these. They're, they're actually pretty good. My kids um, are um, actually have taken a few of them too. Uh, not only is it the kind of salt that has much better minerals in it, uh, and when I would look at some of the stuff when my dad would order salt blocks for our cattle, uh, we would never just order, order sodium chloride. That would be the worst thing we could give an animal uh, to have a healthy, um, healthy body. Um, but uh, these little shakers are a great option. I put that in the, in the show notes <coughs> below too, but I want to show you the coolest thing. So I call these salt sucking rocks. <laughs> okay, so this is a little big. Um, I've taken a couple of them and I have... Uh, uh, hammered them down and you put them in your pocket uh, because if you've done this, if you've been fasting and you get to that part where you can feel a craving coming on, you can feel yourself getting a little irritable, uh, it's amazing how much better you feel when you have salt. So in the past, I've put salt crystals in my pocket, but I'm a girl and I usually wear a skirt and skirts don't... Um, yeah, they don't have pockets often. So sometimes I wouldn't have, I would have it in a, uh, a shirt pocket or gosh, then the shirt got washed and the salt was no longer there. Or I put the crystals in there, but I don't know if there was a hole in the pocket, but I, they weren't there when I went, when I needed them. So these salt crystals um, are, they are rocks. They are from Utah. There's a mine out in Heber, Utah, where they get these and you suck on them. And it is like the coolest. It totally reminds me of cattle licking on a salt rock. Um, <laughs> uh, but it is fascinating how quickly uh, you will you will put out the um, uh, the craving for salt. So when I got sick, I had a couple of these in my pocket, not the big ones, the little ones. Uh, and I would <laughs> I had it in my pocket and every time I started to feel a little punk, I would uh, pull that salt rock out. And it's not like the salt goes out of the rock. You cannot suck all the salt out of the rock. It's amazing, actually. So in the past, when I failed on a fast, uh, it's because I couldn't, I just the salt wasn't in my pocket. I couldn't find it. But I'm telling you, you will buy one bag of these crystals uh, and you will have them forever. You don't, <laughs> you're not going to need to restock them. Um, and they are so useful. <laughs> I, I cannot believe how helpful this has been. So I've been doing it for about six weeks. I have like 
five or six rocks that I have uh, in different outfits and um, they are very helpful. Uh, so the other thing that I was reading about was, um, so you can take the salt rocks and I have them in a glass jar here, these kind of bigger ones, um, and I put them in some water and I set this right next to my, um, my sink um, in the kitchen and I take a uh, tablespoon so it's salty water but it's got that really good minerally taste I, I actually they have a packet of teaching the difference between the taste of just sodium chloride salt and a mineral based salt and for one of the activities in our group a few Fridays ago I passed them out and had everybody taste the 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 Redmond salt uh, and it's really got this it, I mean almost like twice <laughs> the number of taste buds that are engaged I guess I don't know it really does taste really good and then um, we, we waited about 15 minutes and then we tasted the white salt and everybody was like puckered and it was really bitter. Um, but I put a tablespoon of this uh, in my coffee in the morning. So again, that morning um, uh, salt is not a lot of uh, uh, um, energy to keep up with once you're replaced, but it does require that, um, that improvement of uh, like finding the right stuff to put in your system. You'll see in many of my lectures I talk about how important it is that one of the things the ketogenic diet does is seals up our leaky cells, our enterocytes of the gut. Um, they happen long before patients have symptoms. The symptoms are things like irritable bowel, inflammatory bowel disease, um, even celiac disease is known to have enterocytes that don't seal anymore. And one of the first things that happens is you lose minerals, by, and it's at a microscopic level. Even if I go in and take a biopsy out of their gut and I send it to the lab to say, do they have any cell enterocytes that are leaking? It's too microscopic to really measure outside of a research setting. Uh, so we can't, as physicians, measure that. Um, there is something that one of the, if you go and look at the YouTube channel or the YouTube that says leaky gut, I go through this really cool test that's not done in America, but it's a really cool test that helps us learn how valuable um, uh, a, and how much a gut leaks when people aren't well. So now my, my brain instantly, when I hear of somebody who has an autoimmune problem, whether it's thyroiditis, um, whether it's Crohn's disease, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, um, any one of those vascular diseases, the first thing I think of is, oh, they've been leaking out minerals uh, and their gut has been um, betraying them, uh, allowing things to, to leave without permission. And so to replace that, the first section of being on a ketogenic diet, that's kind of hard. I'm still a big fan of uh, giving um, time to a, a, a float spa, a magnesium float spa, where there's a lot of magnesium in there, Epsom salt baths. But I'm telling you, I am a new fan of, I have a bunch of rocks that I put in my outfits because as soon as I feel that sense of not, um, not feeling good or gosh, when I was sick, I just, I, I can't tell you the number of times where I would have never had that many salt crystals, I wouldn't have done it as well. And yeah, the process is pretty cool. Anyway, so I think that's cool. Um, my kids uh, got what I got and I gave them all salt rocks to suck on. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Stay tuned.